because Traylon Burks is out this week, I have to play Marquez Valdez Scantling. Am I in a bad spot or is there possible upside with Mahomes? Anything is possible, but let's talk Marquez Valdez Scantling. He's the consensus wide receiver 40 on the week. And I think that's way too high on Marquez Valdez Scantling. Over the last three games, he's finished as the, the wide receiver 42, 53, and 79. Two weeks before that, against Tennessee, who is we know is a bad defense, wide receiver 75. Against Buffalo, he goose-egged. He was wide receiver 102. He was wide receiver 58 against Indy Week 3. Wide receiver 92 against the Chargers in Week 2. Dating back to Week 1, he was wide receiver 57 on the week. You're in a tough spot. Like, I wonder if you can get, like, Marcus Valdez-Scantling, I have technically at, like, wide receiver 42 but that's way 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 too high i'm gonna move him down for sure the the denver broncos have the best coverage pff grade they allow the fewest receiving yards to wide receivers and they allow the fewest fantasy points to wide receivers so there is not a lot of matchup upside if you are new or if you like the answers that I'm giving, make sure you're hitting that red subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And Marcus Valdez-Scantling, let's talk about what type of actual wide receiver finish he's had. He's finished as the wide receiver 19 back in week 10. He had to score a touchdown for that one. Week 7 against San Francisco, he went 3 for 111. Finishes the wide receiver 20. Week 5 against Vegas, 6 for 90. Finishes the wide receiver 20 as well. So his ceiling is... His ceiling is a mid wide receiver two with a, an absolute dirt bottom floor mark. So you're in a tough spot. Like I would start over Marquez Valles Scantling, your Corey Davis is the world, your Isaiah McKenzie's of the world. I hope you started, maybe, uh, obviously, you didn't start Van Jefferson, but like DJ Chark. Obviously, over Marquez Valdez Scantling. Yeah, that's, that's, I think, the right spot. Rondell Moore. If he is good to go, Rondell Moore did not take part in Friday's practice, though. So we're going to wait to see if Rondell Moore can go. But if he does go, I'm starting Rondell Moore over Marcus Valdez-Scantling. If not, then obviously not. Donovan Peoples-Jones over Marcus Valdez-Scantling. Tyler Boyd, that's Devin DuVernay. I think you can start over Marcus Valdez-Scantling. Heck, let's go even Elijah Moore. Heck, even Elijah Moore over Marcus Valdez-Scantling. Let's go, okay? That's where we're going with this trail on Burks out. I think you're in a tough spot. Maybe you can pivot to some of the other scrubs that I mentioned, but <laughs> I am not optimistic about Marcus Valdez Scantling in this matchup. If you are new or if you like the answers that I'm given, make sure you're hitting that red subscribe button. It really helps 